I know it's my dream. <laughs> hey, house guests! <laughs> Welcome to today's Big Brother Canada Twelve Digital Daily Recap. Oh, hi! Our house guests of the day are Michelle. Michelle. Michelle? Oh, Michelle. Michelle. It's because I was thinking of how to say your last name, Michelle Wineski. Did oh. I say that right? Uh, I feel like I mess it up every season, so apologies. And Jim Bergeron. Wisniewski? Wineski? Wineski? <laughs> I'm sorry, but we really, really appreciate your support. And Jim Bergeron, thank you so yeah. much. Yay, house guest of the day. Yes, <laughs> we All really right. appreciate it. And if you guys want to be house guest of the day, Check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Well, that's not to be outdone by Wendy Will, our super chatter from yesterday. Wendy, thank you so thank much, you. Wendy. Yes. That's a wonderful way to support our channel. Yes. Keep this our community. Keep this ring light on. <laughs> Gotta keep out the witch undertones. Yeah. <laughs> that could All be right. serious. Well, when we left off yesterday. Oh. We had not yet found out who the new HOH is. We only had old info yesterday. Yeah, most of yesterday's Digital Daily was from before Kayla's eviction. It was complete BS. We did see some new targets emerging. Uh, you have the trio of Tola, Lexus, and Anthony. They seem to be targeting I Avery. I don't think that was new. I just mean who they're targeting. Like, it was becoming more and more clear. I mean, okay. at least that's what Tola is pushing for, for them to do, to right. target Avery. That's what he wants. I don't know if that's necessarily what Anthony wants. I feel like Anthony is good with that. Um, but I don't He's know okay if that's number one right now. Yeah. You know, things can always change after the pov. Yeah. <laughs> Lexa seems to be into it. Uh, then you have the trio of if Anthony told her to, she is correct. <laughs> then you have the trio of Todd Bailey and spicy. And I kind of left Avery out of this because she's not so much on this train of like targeting Lexus or Tola. I mean, I guess she is right. But like, I don't know. <laughs> It really seemed like most of the conversations were happening with Todd, Bailey, and Spicy talking about targeting Lexus. Because that's what they wanted us to see. Doesn't yeah, necessarily yes. mean it didn't happen. True. I mean, you also have the trio of Bailey, Avery, and Spicy. Right. So there's like multiple overlapping things happening. There's um, overlap flap. There is overlap flap. Todd really wants someone to take a shot at Anthony. He's starting to bring that up again. My God, who doesn't? Uh, was, there are a bunch of people who don't. <laughs> Bailey was like, ooh, I'm not sure if the votes are there, so we can't do it yet. That is so freaking sad. I'm not even. If the votes are not there, you all deserve to lose. Yeah. Just saying. All right. That's something that can be changed. Yeah. Let's talk about, I mean, there's only... <laughs> You only need two votes in the HOH, or you need three votes to make something happen at this We're point. We're down to the final seven. Freaking I don't, get it I together. Think it's time, Helen. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about today's Digital Daily. Uh, it started off with everyone wearing their 80s style workout clothes. Let's all come in from the backyard. We just. Uh, Did they do some jazzercise? I don't know. Probably, right? I don't know. Aerobics. I didn't um, see any thongs going up butts. We That's don't need the that. 80s, baby. Ugh, what were you thinking? <laughs> I didn't make it. <laughs> well, we immediately find out that Tola won HOH. Shocking. So everyone's like, oh my God, Tola. Everyone is suddenly his best friend. We also find out later in the daily. Good one, Tola. We find out later that Ty got second place. Oh, he was so close. He was so close. He's if been so close in a lot of times. If only Todd had won. Or I know. I'm sorry, Tad. His time is coming, right? If he doesn't get voted out. Oh, God. Come here, Liam. Uh, yeah, but he was close in this one. But Todd uh, did not beat Tola. Um, so Lexis, Tola, and Anthony are pretty tight. They're all celebrating together in the bathroom. Like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Lexis says, well, bye, Kayla. She went last week. Bye, Avery. What is Anthony rubbing off on her? The Dougalucci. Yeah. What fun is this Do we game have, without uh, Dougalucci? Lexa Lucci end? now? Yeah, Lexa Lucci. Oh. Is Dougie going to be like Susan Lucci because he'll like make it to the end a bunch but never win? Yes, hopefully. <laughs> uh, that's his own nickname, so what can I say? But Anthony's like, the tables always turn. Wow. You know, Tola went from the block to the HOH room. Oh, my God. When he started going through his feel of from the block to the top, blah, 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 look at me. I haven't won anything, but I have. Is the HOH itis setting in yes 
But I have to say, he's still cooking for everybody. He's still doing a little cleaning up in the kitchen. He's been doing a lot of cooking for everybody all season. Yeah. And everyone seems to love it. They do. I will say, he has really turned it around from week one when everyone's just like, tell it is to go. You know what? I would love if somebody cooked for me, even if it was crap. Just as long as I didn't have to cook. Yeah. I mean, from what everybody said, though, his food seems pretty good. Yeah, I'm sure his, he's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Well, we have Bailey and Spicy chatting in the storage room, and it seems like they're on slot. Oh, they're mixing up a whole bucket. Yeah. I don't know if this was like an endurance competition because the it seems like it. It because... started pretty late, the daily. It was like the first time stamp was like yeah. 10 something. So I, I bet it was an endurance because Tola was complaining about how his feet, like he couldn't, couldn't feel, feel them. <laughs> like, was he standing on like a, a ledge or something know. like that? He appeared to be limping at one point. And it seems like when uh, they have an endurance competition, the first so many out are on slop. Right. And I would almost bet that Spicy was one of the first ones out if it was some sort of an endurance situation. Yeah. Well, Bailey and Spicy are definitely pretty nervous about Tola being HOH this week. That is not someone they wanted to win. Uh, or at I least Bailey didn't them. want him to win. I, so, I don't think Bailey's safe with anybody. <laughs> I don't know. But Bailey's really hoping that Anthony will put in some work for them this week. Please save us. Can you put in a good... If they save them, who else is Money. left? I mean, it's not like, you know, oh, do you, does he want precious Lexus up on the block? Like, no. that's not happening. Wake up, kids. I mean, unfortunately, Bailey is ready to throw Todd in the trash to save her trio of her, Avery, and Spicy. That's so sad. That makes me so sad because Todd is putting, like, everything he has into Bailey and Spicy. Yes. So then for her to just be like, hopefully we can get Todd on the block instead of us. No, I hate it. I hate it here. <laughs> but yeah, um, they know that Avery is definitely going to be in danger this week. They're just hoping it won't be two members of their trio up on the block together. We'll see. All right. So then Spicy and Anthony are alone. And Spicy's like, you better keep me off that block. Like, do what you need to do. And Anthony's like, I got you. I'm going to do everything I can. At any cost. We'll see. I'm pretty sure that Anthony feels that Spicy has gone against him multiple times now. So who do you think Doug Lucci is more loyal to, Lexus or Spicy at this point in time? It's hard to say because I think his trust has definitely definitely been shaken with shaken? Spicy. <laughs> Shook. Shooketh. Um, but at the same time, I think she has reeled him back in a bit. With, um, what did she do the other day again? I don't know. <laughs> I can't even remember. With with the um, the massacre and not putting Tola up on the um, block as a replacement. Right. So I think that that kind of regains some trust with him. But I don't know. It's hard to say. I feel like he knows that Lexus is probably more loyal to him. But I think maybe he sees Spicy being more helpful more as him. an equal to him yeah it's but hard to say you would think that he would want to get rid of her i don't know more before lexus i think he sees spicy also as somebody who could potentially beat him in the end so if somebody else is going to take him out i don't see him putting up a big fight against it you know if right. tola just so happened to want to take a shot at spicy i think he would be a-okay with that happening yeah. Because in his eyes, Spicy has wronged him. So Absolutely. I mean, she has. But like they but he's should... also wronged her. Exactly. <laughs> but exactly. yeah. Um, Todd and Tola have a chat. Tola tells Todd, you will not be touching the block this week. Okay, but what about as a replacement? <laughs> Todd seems really nervous. And it's kind of like he couldn't not sleep good. either. He needs to calm down because his nervousness is going to make people be like, why is he so nervous about Tola being HOH? Does he have a gold bar in his pocket? <laughs> like, what's going on here? Yeah. So he can definitely stand to, like, chill it a little bit. Yeah. But Tola's like, Todd, I have a plan. You know who my target is. Avery. And well, um, what happens if, uh, <laughs> so if Avery comes down and uses it on herself? What is this accent? I don't know. <laughs> or what if uh, Spicy Spicy wins the veto? And what if Spicy takes down Avery? Yeah, we'll get there. But Avery knows that she's in trouble. At one point, she was like, well, guess I'm going up. 
I she mean, does. at least she's self-aware. Tola made it very obvious, which is just like even more puzzling why Avery would want to take out Kayla last week and not Tola. <laughs> you you got rid of one of your own allies. Yeah, and that now was a very dumb move. The person that you could have gotten rid of won HOH and is going to put you up on the wall. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, at one point, Anthony is alone talking to the cameras. Oh, my God. This was nause nauseating. It was too much. He was like, it, first it was fine, but then it got too much. First he was like, I could do something really good. <laughs> or I could do something really bad this week. <laughs> So it seems an awful lot like the really bad thing would, would be, be to, to get, get spicy, spicy. Yeah. up and out. Um, then he was like, men lie, women lie, beauty fades, but being pretty doesn't. Oh, my God. Move on with your life. <laughs> Stop it with the pretty boys. We're tired of it. You were on a freaking TV show that was skewed for you to win when you had the four guy alliance because that was the storyline that the show wanted to push and you can't let it go. Get life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's too much. It's too cheesy. It's like um, a wrestler or something doing their little bit, like before they do the fight. <laughs> Stop. It's too much. Okay. So then Todd and Tola chat in the HOH room. I have to say, though, it would be pretty wild if he did push for Spicy to go this week. Don't count on it. I'm just saying, like, it'd be pretty wild. Um, so Todd and Tola are chatting again. Mm -hmm. And this is where Todd's like, if someone comes off the block, would you put me up as a replacement? I can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so Tola's like, what are you worried about? Like, you're going to be fine this week. But then Tola does eventually admit, mm, if shit hits the fan, yeah, I would have to he put was you like, up on the block. Nah, nah. Uh, He's whatever. Like, I don't want that to happen, but it would. Um, Sorry, bye. Well, he told Todd. He told Todd, "You're not going home." <laughs> he tells Todd. There's too many T's <laughs> yeah. with Tola and Todd. I can't. They should not be working together. Yeah. Um. So he told him, "You're not going to be going, so you don't have to worry about that." Um. But Todd's very worried. Tola also says to Todd, "I need you to win the power veto." Oh. Is he hoping that Todd will win, take Bailey down, and then Spicy, like, basically has to go up? Because he's not going to put up Lexus that or That would Anthony. be amazing. That'd be pretty crazy. Lex Ruthless says, as opposed to this season, that is rigged for the women from casting in the first one. No, this season was rigged for the vets. The two all-stars? <laughs> yeah. Not the given women. Safety week one, and also HOH could only be one of them. I think they had a huge advantage there. They gave us the most unlikable cast. And it is favored favored to the vets to yeah. win. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> uh, Fight me. Yeah. So then <laughs> uh, after Todd finishes up with Tola, he goes and talks to Spicy. And Spicy's like, yeah, I figure Avery and Bailey will be going up on the block. Correct. Yes. And she says, Todd, if you win the power of veto... You need to leave the nominations the same because I'm terrified of going up on that block. Spicy is you definitely think nervous. He's going to leave the noms the same and not Girl, protect Bailey. On. Bailey Especially saved him. If, if he would have immunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, but she's really nervous because she feels like if she goes up on the block, she is pretty much automatically gone. Everyone's going to vote her out. Yeah, I mean, there's a good chance. So Spicy says, um, you know, if you leave the nominations the same, we can keep Bailey. We'll get the votes to keep her. But, like, is she really going to fight for Bailey? Because I feel like she's going to want to keep Avery. Of course. I don't know what everybody else is going to say. I think everybody else wants Avery out. But I yeah, don't know. Maybe Spicy wouldn't wouldn't vote with the house. Yeah, I don't know, know what Spicy does in that situation. Or maybe but... she would still vote for Avery just for the jury vote who knows uh there was a little break from the game at one point big brother gave the house guests ice cream and cupcakes for to celebrate Todd's birthday yes so everybody sang happy birthday for him he was so happy what <laughs> no i was just oh. thinking <laughs> um the singing was not amazing oh it was terrible <laughs> but it was it, heartfelt it was tonto uh what is oh it? Frankenstein. Frankenstein, ah! and I can't remember who the third was. Yeah. Ha, be, ba, da, to, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So that's fun. But happy birthday again to Todd. <laughs> Hope you had a great day. How old was Todd? 30 something? 30 something. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So then Tola. Older than you. Is he? I don't know about that. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Tola and Bailey chat in the HOH room. And Tola lets Bailey know she will be going up on the block. But he says, you are not the target. Oh. Yeah, he says, you're going to be safe no matter what happens, no matter who wins veto. You know who my target is. Avery. Um, so he's telling Bailey. What is it with this house now not saying people's names? I guess they just don't want to. They want to have Anthony some sort of start all that because Anthony never really says anyone's name. They want to have some sort of plausible denial. Oh, I never said that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but he's Never telling dissed. he's telling <laughs> Bailey, you have the chance to win the veto. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not getting backdoored here or anything like that. Also, you're not the target. Uh, he also says Todd would use the power of veto on you, so you have a good chance to come off the block. Would he though? I mean, you would hope so, right? Yeah. Uh, he says I'm not coming after you, and Bailey's like, I know, I know, I trust you, but she seems pretty nervous about it, and she should be. Like, I think her mouth is saying I trust you, and her legs are saying I gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. It's never good to go up on the block, especially this late in the game. So Bailey has an important question. What if someone wins the power of veto and pulls Avery down? Because it's one thing if Avery pulls herself down. Right. But if somebody else does it. Like spicy. That's one less person that can't go up on, you know, that can't go up on the block or can go up on the block. So Tola's like, don't worry. I have a. A backup target. I have a backup for the backup. I'm not going to tell you who it is. He was not naming names with Bailey. But Tola says no one can beat Avery in the end. She has got to go. And Bailey's like, all right, like right, I'll do this for you. But if Avery comes down, I do not want to be on the block next to Spicy. Because mm -hmm. uh, she seems to think like she will be voted out against Spicy. But what she's really saying is I want me and Spicy both to stay Get rid of Todd. <laughs> yeah. She's so quick to sacrifice Todd. Not sweet, innocent Todd. Yeah. Uh, they also discussed going to the final four with the two of them, Anthony and Spicy. And I guess this is a conversation that was started a few days ago. Um, we don't need this four in the final four. <laughs> I also think this is BS because all of the people in that group have like multiple final fours, final Absolutely. threes going on. Um, everybody's got an alliance with everybody at this point i would say except for no one <laughs> i don't think this except is Tola. i don't think this is anyone in that group's actual final four like ideal final four no so tola like we said would not reveal to bailey who the replacement nominee would be mm -hmm. but he did tell lexus right. after this when he was telling her i was thinking the whole time Say it, say it, say spicy. And then he says Todd. Yeah, he said, if necessary, the replacement nominee would be Todd. You're the only one I'm going to tell. Yeah, Don't true. tell anyone. <laughs> um, That's weak. <laughs> You're going to put is, up Todd? This is my home phone number. Do not give it out. <laughs> you, He would have the chance to make a huge move if that veto is used. And he's going to put up Todd. I hope he's just saying that to cover I don't a bigger think move. So. But he tells Lexus, kick up your feet. Uh -oh. oh, Marty. Ah, I don't think he actually would put Lexus up on the block, but we can't hear that phrase and not think about Marty and the doom I don't think that follows he would, it. Uh, get rid of Lexus because no. she's a goat. She's a goat. She's also a number for him and Anthony. So exactly. No. But after, this was interesting. I did not expect this. Lexus talks to Avery and Lexus tells her, you're going to be going up with Bailey. Oh. I didn't think she was going to share anything that Tola said. Right. But Avery wants to know, am I the target or is Bailey the target? I didn't think that Lexus told her straight up, it's you. No. She did bring up like, oh, you have put him up on the block two times. Didn't blah, she blah, say blah. like, uh, is she the target? Am I the target? Or are we both the target? And yeah. She said like, I think both. Right. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Then Avery. <laughs> yeah. Avery chats with Spicy and she's like, well. I'm going up with Bailey, and I am the target. I mean, she's right. She is I the mean, target. Of course she is. She was put up on the block in mid, in the Midnight Movie Massacre there, you know? So, like, yeah, it yeah. wasn't Midnight. It was just a movie it's massacre. Movie night, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. So, <laughs> don't let it ruin your day. day. No. Um, Avery was kind of, like, a 
little too jovial when she was delivering this news and Spicy was like, why are you smiling? And Avery says, because I'm going to win the power veto and pull myself down. I mean, she probably might. She definitely has a shot to, for sure. Um, but she's like, if you want to get rid of me, you have to backdoor me. Mm -hmm. Oh, so confident. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But Spicy, I think Loki doesn't want Avery to win the veto because <laughs> she could be going up in her place. Spicy is really nervous that she could get backdoored this week. And Avery's like, well, our best case scenario, besides me winning, <laughs> would be for you to win the veto. And then you'll be safe, and too. And then we'll both be safe. Um, spicy, Do on the other hand. you think she will gun for it? Who? Spicy to save Avery. Um, I think there's a good chance, right? Because she would rather see Todd go than one of her girls, I think. Um, she really does not want Todd to win because he could right. potentially use it on Bailey. And then she pretty much like has to go She's up. She's going to go up. Right. So we'll see what happens there. Oh, do they have the votes to get rid of her? If she to get rid of spicy? Yeah. Um let's play devil's I don't advocate. Know. If Todd wins the veto, uses it on Bailey, and Spicy gets put up against um it would depend Avery. how dirty Anthony I'm sorry. wants to play. Yeah, Avery. It would depend how dirty Anthony wants to play. Because, because he's got a lot of dirt on Spicy and things that she's said and done. Yeah. So he could totally spill that and get the votes, I think. who would Bailey and Todd vote for? They would definitely well, vote to keep Spicy. That's what I'm saying, though. If Anthony decides to spill some info, that might be the end of Spicy. <laughs> but who knows uh, how far he's willing to go with this. Or and, will he just put the fear of God into her? I don't know. But Tola... And if, it, if it doesn't work... Oopsies. Yeah. Um, spicy. Yeah. Tola continues his one on one. So he ch he chats with Spicy and he tells her, I have your back. You're not going up. You don't have to worry. And she's like, Oh, <laughs> yes. Are you okay with Avery going this week? I know you two are tight. And she's just like, Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I feel like at this point, if it's not her, she's fine with it because yeah. she is afraid this week. So as long as it's not her, she's good. And she says, Avery did put you up on the block twice. She'll understand. It's fine. Mm. <laughs> I mean, she is taking it really well. Um, Spicy promises she would not put Tola up if she wins HOH next week. I think that's a lie. I think so, too. <laughs> ah! So then Tola chats with Avery. And he does let her know she will be going up on the block with Bailey. She asks, um, am I the target? Are we both targets? He says both. But, like, we know. Avery is his number one target here. Yeah. She also asks, do you have a plan for if one of us comes down with a veto? And Tola says, I do not. That's a lie. The lie detector test <laughs> says that's a lie. I mean, he's not going to spill all of his game to his number one target. He has so many plans. Yeah. Um, he tells Avery, I don't have anything negative to say about you. I think you're great. But you did put me up on the block twice. And I think you are a really strong player. Yeah. So I got to take the shot. And Avery's I mean, like, he's right. Yeah, she says, I get it. I know it's slim pickings. You don't have a lot of people to choose from anyway. Um, but she's like, all right, you know what I would do if I were you and I was in your position? <laughs> she basically says, if the veto is used, mm -hmm. put Todd up as a replacement. Because if you've got Todd and Bailey up on the block, mm -hmm. you will definitely be splitting up a duo there right. because those two are tight. Absolutely. She also says, uh, Todd is a better nominee than Spicy. Because Bailey and Todd are both fighters. They have both done really well in the competitions, even though Todd hasn't won one yet. But Spicy, who has two HOHs under her belt, she says Spicy was handed those wins. Yeah. The first one was the spitting one, which, you know, that was like a group effort. Mm -hmm. The second one was literally given to her she by Bailey. She was cast in the role. Right. So she's saying, like, Todd and Bailey are much better competitors, so you're better right. off taking one of them out. And Tola's like, yeah, well, that is most likely what would happen if the POV is used. Todd is that what Anthony up. said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, Avery, like, basically was helping Tola come up with his nomination speech. To nominate her. her. And she was like, it's okay. No hard feelings. Like, I get it. I mean, if you're going to get nominated, you might as well be able to write your speech. <laughs> Absolutely wild. Yeah. So we did not get confirmation on the nominations in this digital daily, but I think it's pretty safe to say it's going to be Avery and Bailey going up. I bet the farm on it. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> you heard it here. So I don't have a farm, by the way. <laughs> no, that'd be cool though. Yeah. Um, Lammy. So thank you all so much for watching. Oh, excuse me. We will get confirmation on those noms on Sunday's episode. And yes. then uh, we'll be back with more digital dailies after that on Monday. Yes. So everybody enjoy your weekend. Because it's back to work on Monday with yes. at least seven hours, no, no. six hours of uh, digital daily. We'll see. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm trying to swallow this yawn. Swallow and until it. next time, much, much love. love. Bye. Bye. Have a nice weekend. Bye, everybody. Bye. I know I will. <laughs>